Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to go over how to use your Julius to run a one-way ANOVA on a data set. So we're going to first start by bringing in our data set. I have mine already in my file, so I'm just going to click on it and have Julius read this in. You can see that it is in here from the preview that's here. So what I'm going to ask now and the first step in every kind of statistical analysis is to run the descriptive. To give you a little bit of a preview of my data set and what it is, it's basically me testing different fertilizer types, so one, two, and three, on plant height. So I'd like to know if there is any kind of statistical significance between fertilizer groups and plant height. So perfect. Julius gave us an output for descriptive statistics. I can also ask for a histogram because this will actually tell me how or give me a visualization of my uh, how my data is distributed. This is another thing that you can do before you start running any of the assumptions tests. So we can see that it kind of has a normal distribution. We can see this very nice bell curve here. So what I can do next is I'm going to um, ask Julius to give me the assumptions. Me up for provide or performing the correct tests that I need in order to validate my data set and make sure that it is set for a one-way ANOVA test. So, so let's do this. So, so Julius has laid out my steps or my assumptions, and now I'm gonna ask it to perform these assumptive tests. Like I said, this is just another way for me to check and look at how speedy it is. It has ran into an error, but it will self-correct, which is another really cool thing about Julius. And it's very speedy because it's the GPT-40 model. Awesome. So it's showing me the QQ plots. Um, for visual inspection, it looks like my data sets for each group follows a, at least the normal distribution here. Great. We have my W statistics from the Shapiro Wilk test, which we can all see that it falls above 0 0.05, which means that is a normal distribution. And then we have Levine's test, which tests the homogeneity of variances. And this is also above 0 0.05, which means that it is good to go. And it even gives us a nice interpretation of what it found, basically what I've told you. And it says based on the test, the data set meets the assumptions for a one-way ANOVA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this prompt here and have perform the one-way ANOVA test on a data set. And Julius will take my data set now and it should give me the, the output. Awesome. That was really speedy too. So as you can see, we're looking at the F statistic and the P value here. So I want to make mention that the P value is approximately 0.0. .0 036, so that is very small. Since it is under 0 0.05, we're rejecting all hypothesis, hypothesis here. And what we're going to do is I like to perform a post hoc test. And this is always form these tests after you get something that is significant. So we're going to click on this prompt here and we're going to have Julius perform a post hoc test. So this is, for example, it'll pick the right post hoc test depending on the setup of your data set. So for this, I believe that yes, it's the Tukey's post hoc test. test. As you can see, it pops out a very nice table here. I love this table. And it has group one versus group two, group one versus group three, and group two versus group three. And you can look at the P adjusted adjustment, and you can see that group one and three are statistically significant. Again, it gives you a lovely in input out here or um, an interpretation, which I love about Julius. This is great, especially for people who are new with um, data, st data analysis. So the final step here is visualizing our data set. So I'm going to hit this and Julius should give me a lovely, I'm going to assume it's going to be a box plot. So let's see. I can also ask it to get rid of the grid size in the back so that you can see it a lot easier. And I can also ask it to provide uh, the, statistic, the statistically significant um, markings on the data sets. So 
perfect. I this is a lovely graph. Graph as you can see here, um, it has this little asterisk and it shows me groups one and three are statistically significant from one another. So my final thing is. This is the final step that I would always advise you guys to run after finding these. So it's going to give me the uh, descriptive statistics, the assumptions, the uh, Levine's test, and then it gave me the post hoc. So it gives me a lovely, inter uh, lovely overview of everything that we did. So this is beautiful. I hope this helps you run one-way ANOVAs in Julius.